I'd like to talk about uh, Westminster Abbey today, uh, which is a Gothic style architecture, uh, a church, important church with a lot of uh, tombs for historian figures in the history of UK. A lot of important uh, uh, Great Britain, British are buried here, uh, including politicians, uh, musicians, writers, and uh, poets, and uh, explorers, kings and queens. Uh, they offer a free audio guide which is help for some people take that for their tour and uh, there is a shop and a cafe in the cafe you can have lunch uh, they have male car which uh, consists of boys and men uh, they provide the sun service uh, at 5 p.m. You, you can take a seat to enjoy their songs uh, and uh, there is perhaps organ played sometimes you can also listen to that mm, but the car is more famous than the organ uh, kings and the queens were coronated and buried here a lot of uh, kings and queens in the past 1000 years. Uh, the Gothic exterior is enjoyable. You can take photos of that. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the, the people who were buried here in, uh, in more details. Uh, in terms of uh, composers, Handel uh, and uh, Ralph, Ralph Van Williams, Van Williams were buried here. Uh, there is uh, Sir Edward Elgar, who is a composer who is not buried here, but there is memorial here for him. He, uh, he is the composer of a quite famous music piece uh, called uh, Prompt and uh, Circumstance. Uh, another name of a uh, part of that piece is Land of Hope and Glory. Uh, when you listen to it, uh, you will recognize that uh, it is a familiar music for you. Uh, because uh, in some uh, occasions, such as graduation ceremony, uh, th there will be this piece of music. And uh, but among all the musicians buried here, Handel is uh, the most uh, recognizable by tourists. Uh, and the uh, scientist, Stephen Hawking, who is quite popular among public, general public, Stephen Hawking, who is new to here, uh, his tomb is uh, next to the tomb of uh, Sir Isaac Newton. And also Charles Darwin and uh, Alfred uh, Russell Wallace uh, and uh, Michael Faraday and uh, Maxwell 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 uh, uh, Faraday and uh, Maxwell are both physicists. Uh, uh, Faraday discovered the electro electromagnetic. Uh, induction and uh, diamagnetics and uh, electron something uh, and uh, Maxwell discovered uh, uh, he 
develop the theory of electron magnetic radiation. Uh, Sir Frank Whittle, who, who invented the turbojet engine, is also buried here. Uh, there are writers as well. Uh, the fam most famous one is Charles Dickens. You know him. And uh, C.S. Lewis, Lewis uh, who wrote uh, some uh, fictions. And uh, politicians. There is Winston Churchill. You know him. He is very famous, Winston Churchill. Uh, there is also William uh, Wilberforce, who is an important man who stopped the slave trade uh, in the history of UK. Uh, he has a seat in the parliament. He, 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 kept, uh, he kept pushing forward the, the legislations that uh, aim, aimed at to finally stop stop the and uh, the slavery trafficking slave trafficking he finally succeeded and uh, in the US they they took a war for stopping that uh, there are Poets. Uh, there is a poet's corner. There is T. S. Eliot, Hughes, Browning, Chaucer. Uh, Chaucer and Eliot are relatively more famous among public. The Alden, Austin, Byron, uh, William Blake. William Blake was not uh, quite uh, famous when he was still alive but he was uh, he, he became came, uh, recognized after he died and uh, there is there are two important explorers buried here uh, David Lingston David Lingston Lingst, uh, was an explorer in Africa and uh, Sir Walter Raleigh was an explorer in Central America. Uh, they are both quite important explorers. And uh, uh, there is an unknown warrior in a world war um, who was buried here uh, in memorial of the world wars in the past century. And uh, uh, another important figure is William C Caxton, William Caxton, who introduced a printing press into England and uh, uh, he first he is the first English retailer of printed books so he is quite important to the uh, spread of knowledge in England and uh, in uh, in this place in Westminster Abbey you can find the memorials for Shakespeare and William Tyndale. Uh, Shakespeare, you know him. Uh, William Tyndale uh, is a Bible translator, important uh, Bible translator. And as I said, uh, Sir Edward uh, Elgar, the composer, his body 
is not here, but uh, he he has a memorial for him here. And uh, in London, if you visit London, uh, besides this place, you can find uh, three important uh, historian figures in uh, other places, in two other places, two other places which are quite important. Uh, tourist destinations. One is St. Paul Cathedral. In St. Paul Cathedral you can find the graves of Arthur Wellesley who defeated Napoleon at Waterloo as a general of the British Army. Mm, and uh, Sir Alexander Fleming, who is a scientist who discovered the penicillin, the first antibiotic substance. And uh, in another tourist destination, the Tower of London, you can find in a chapel uh, the grave of Sir Thomas More, who was the author of Utopia, a famous book. I think you know the book. And uh, so I so I hope you will be able to uh, make a reflection in front of every uh, every grave of important figures. Uh, if not a hundred graves, I think at least I hope 20 graves for you. I hope you have the necessary knowledge for these graves. Otherwise, it's pointless to, to go there. And uh, I hope you will enjoy the audio guide and also the Gothic exterior and the male core. I hope you can catch up with the core, course uh, service. And uh, I hope you will uh, experience the places related to kings and queens. And uh, I hope this is a place where you can uh, increase your knowledge about uh, British history. I think some of the historian figures are also important in the world history, not just uh, the history of uh, Britain. Uh, so please enjoy. I hope you will go there. Uh, anytime soon. Since there are tombs for a lot of, a lot of uh, important poets, I really hope it is uh, uh, th this will inspire you to uh, look deeper into British poems. And uh, I believe that uh, uh, some scientists and engineers will uh, be fond of the scientists' graves. I think when I look at uh, the tomb of Ralph Vaughan Williams, the composer, I will remember his uh, piece, uh, Fantasia Green Leaves. Uh, although he has another piece which is more famous to the public, uh, which is a fantasia uh, on a theme of Thomas Tallis, mm. the, the the green leaf piece is more familiar to me, 